Hey guys, what's up? I Sectatron here from OneHive Gazette, here with my next live on War Day video. I'm actually in OneHive Alpha. Uh, basically what's happening is there was kind of a potluck, and what a potluck is, is it's where clans all kind of get a similar roster in terms of weight. Um, multiple clans, like, I don't know, four, six, eight, and they all search at the same time. And the hope is that you'll get matched up with one of the other high-level clans that's involved in the potluck. So it's like an arranged war, except a bunch of different clans search at the same time. And uh, you don't know who you're going to get matched up with. <clears throat> so that's happening in Genesis. I actually wasn't able to fit on the roster. So I'm in Alpha, and uh, we tried to do the same search, but because Alpha has a lot of Town Hall 8s and stuff, uh, we matched a, a clan that wasn't involved. And unfortunately, it's kind of a lame war because it's a level five clan, and just to give some perspective, uh, that was their number one who hit our Town Hall 9, um, who's a Town Hall 11. So anyway, uh, not going to be the most competitive war, but I'm hoping um, we'll see some Town Hall 8 attacks because they actually have a few okay Town Hall 8 bases. Town Hall 9 bases are okay, they're just kind of under-leveled, so uh, still some good stuff you should be able to see. Uh, looks like people are already starting to fire at the top as well. So uh, we'll go ahead and sit around, see if we can record just a few attacks. Uh, a lot have already happened, but uh, there's a few Town Hall 8s left. This one even dodged the first attack, so um, I'll sit back and see if I can get some action worthy of YouTube for you guys. So stay tuned. Be right back. Okay, here we go. Just uh, caught this a little late, actually. I was typing something in the clan chat, um, but we have poor self-control. Uh, he's Great attacker, by the way. Uh, this guy's been pretty much consistently getting the three star uh, the last few wars uh, that I've heard of because, um, yeah, really good attacker, pretty reliable. So this should be a pretty easy walk in the park for him. Not the best base, but can still be prone to mistakes. So let's take a look at it. Uh, came in, got the queen taken out. Didn't get a whole lot besides the queen. That's the only problem right here. So uh, there goes that giant bomb right next to the Tesla. The heal is there for the hogs, though, and that level 5 king should not be much of a problem. Uh, his heroes did go down. They're only 1720 themselves, and I'm actually not sure if this is going to go for 3 because there's a lot of defenses still left up. Um, Skellies, the king, uh, giant bombs. He has one heal left, a few hogs. Yeah, this is not going to be a 3-star just from, uh, yeah, a good try to pour off control, but a very rare uh, miss on this attack. Maybe some Valks or something. This base was pretty compact. He just didn't get much value for his uh, king and queen, really. Uh, went down rather quickly. But anyway, uh, he has dropped a few wizards. I guess we can go ahead and just back out because this thing is pretty much over. Uh, don't want to miss anyone else going in live. So nice try to pour self-control. Oh, can I... Some guy tried to sneak in on me. Who's this? J Money. Tried to sneak in on me and was successful for the most part. Um, I missed the most of the attack. I think we'll have to watch the beginning of it um, again because uh, this one uh, looks like it might be a three-star though. Um, I don't see a whole lot of giant bomb possibilities. Still has quite a few Valks, quite a few Hogs. This one will go for a three as long as he holds that heal for that potential spot between the mortar and the cannon. Uh, so there goes that heal. Great placement. I uh, did a good job waiting. because uh, Oh, double giant bomb set actually. That's going to destroy all those Hogs, but it does not matter to be honest. Still a minute left. So many Valks left up, and that Golem uh, will tank those last few defenses anyway. So awesome attack to J Money, at least from the part I saw. We'll take a look at the beginning of the attack, and I, I don't like doing this because uh, uh, it kind of takes defeats the purpose of the video by showing a replay. But uh, you know it happened, and unfortunately we caught the end of this. So uh, I want you guys to see the whole attack, and as soon as this thing wraps up for a three star, we'll go back. Assuming no one else is going in live, uh, which people like to rush me because I think I spilled the beans about recording, so uh, as soon as people go, uh, more people go to try to sneak away. For some reason, they don't like being recorded, uh, but it looks like we'll go ahead and give a woo, um, and then also say a uh, nice, nice try, by the way, PSC, for self-control. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, good attacks there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replay uh, of J Money going in here and uh, doing a uh, quake and then two heals so good stuff there is able to bring two heals um, one for the Valks I think one for the Hogs anyway gets the CC lure with just a cheap 
uh, Hogger to lures them to the top here. Remember, he doesn't have any poison, so has to kind of do the old-fashioned kill. But with the dragon in the CC, that makes it pretty easy because it's so slow, and just a few barbs can distract it. I like using archers because they don't run away from the dragon. They kind of hover underneath it if you draw the dragon far enough out. But this is just kind of splitting hairs, and it's kind of obsolete to some extent with the poison spell, but you do see it when people bring the earthquakes. Uh, so anyway, a nice wide funnel has some minions, some wizards, uh, creating the funnel very wide. And once again, um, something that is just a good thing to get in the habit of doing is have the wizards that kill the dragon be part of your funnel. Don't make yourself bring extra wizards to do separate jobs when you can get double value for the wizards by having them kill the dragon and then create the funnel. So good job on the top part of the funnel by doing that. Anyway, they just kind of came through the base, uh, natural funnel into that next layer, and uh, the Valks will wreck this core of the base, especially these level 5 Valks, uh, along with his own level 2 Valks, uh, crushes this part of the base, and then there go the Hogs. We can go ahead and fast forward a little bit, because it's basically just a wall of Hogs right here. Um, it doesn't look like there's any giant bombs uh, along the outside. There was the one that he triggered right at the beginning, and then the double set. So anyway, we'll go ahead and fast forward, because we already saw the enemy attack. Awesome attack to J-Money. Getting the three star. Um, did I miss a defense, by the way? I oh, know, poor self control got 48%. That's what happened. Uh, yeah, I kind of caught that out of the corner of my eye and looked kind of funny, but I guess he only got 48%. Still a good try, um, and he's a very great attacker. So uh, just it happens, though, to the best of our attackers, too. So anyway, um, we'll go ahead and keep waiting for the next attack and uh, probably have maybe one more Town Hall 8 and uh, most likely some Town Hall 9 action to show. So anyway, uh, stay tuned, be right back. I hope that fail wasn't too hard on poor self-control. Okay, here we go, we got, oh, two people going at once. I hate it when this happens. Uh, which one should we watch though? I don't wanna show one that's not gonna be as interesting. Uh, we have Buddy up here. Uh, this one might be a little more interesting. It's going to be a Town Hall 10 Mass Bowler attack. So uh, I'll go ahead and show the Town Hall 8 one just because it's happening during this video. And uh, I want to <clears throat> be able to show everyone that happens while uh, I'm recording, but can't be in two places at once. I'd love to be able to split screen this, but uh, just it wouldn't be live, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, but anyway, uh, we're looking at Buddy going in here, uh, drops down the poisons. Kind of stack those up, probably not necessary, but uh, the queen probably won't need a rage or anything because the dragon is so much slowed down. Uh, so drops in a baby dragon to create the funnel up there, and then a golem, uh, a few wall breakers. So just doing a very uh, small queen walk just to get that one compartment. And uh, the healers should peel off onto the bowlers, and uh, that will be good because uh, the uh, inferno towers are on single target which means that they can be healed up a lot easier. So anyway, there go the bowlers. Uh, they're going to make their way through. The queen's going to meet up. Everything moving forward. The uh, inferno is on that golem, I think, but uh, it's pretty much already busted anyway. And there's that first rage in the jump. Should get into both inferno towers, assuming everything goes the right way. Um, a nice freeze there, getting the teslas, the inferno. Uh, the queen goes down very quickly. Low-level queen, low-level base in general, but uh, does have those infernos. Uh, there goes a few giant bombs, but the healers are doing a pretty good job keeping everything up. Uh, drops down the next rage. Everything moving to the base. This is going to be a pretty easy three-star, it looks like. Um, this is kind of the quality of their Town Hall 10 bases, so I probably will try to record a live attack of my own, and hopefully I can hit one of their higher level bases than this. But still, um, I know I'm due, so I want to be able to record a live attack, but uh, hopefully I can get one that's interesting. So anyway, uh, crush this base. Awesome attack to Buddy. Uh, let's go ahead and hop out and take a look at the, uh, oh, we can even hop back in here. This one was never even completed. Uh, oh, this might not get the three star, actually. Uh, it's going to be close. It looks like 29 seconds. No, he won't get it, um, but not sure how this happened. It looked like it was going okay just from the beginning part that I saw. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the replay and see how this one ended up going. But uh, for whatever reason, the hogs got all the defenses, but nothing left. That king is still up couldn't quite get the job done so uh, let's go ahead and check out what happened uh, there's the attack just finished up and has the 30 hogs we'll see what he has in the CC probably just more hogs because the space doesn't really have any good double giant bomb sets uh, but keep in mind noob is a town hall 8 so 
still difficult to deal with a Town Hall 9 base, even if it's this low level and kind of a bad layout, but uh, it's a Town Hall higher, it's still hard. So anyway, it drops down the poisons, and I'm not sure why the, the double poison. I would have saved one for the uh, CC, or not the CC, that is the CC, one for the King, I mean, uh, because really he has the Wizards and the Barbs anyway. One uh, poison spell will get the job done just fine. But anyway, not a big deal. Uh, goes in, Giant Bomb already triggered just on the outside of the base. Drops in the king. He'll get on that queen. She looks like she's going to go down right there. So yeah, got the job done with the uh, king. Um, from here, he's just going to hog the rest of the base. I guess the problem is he only has these level 4 hogs. But still, these defenses aren't Town Hall 9 level. Uh, that hurt right there, though. Dropping the CC hogs right on that giant bomb set. Plus the wizards, or the wizard tower, I mean. Uh, getting some splash damage. But still, they, did, they didn't really go down. So I'm not sure what's going to take out his big group of hogs here. Because it looks like he's moving through the base pretty decisively. Uh, that heal placement wasn't the best because the hogs were kind of already going to move out of it. Uh, so a little bit early on those heals. And uh, right here the hogs are spreading out. Does have that one heal left. Let's see where he drops it. Because uh, there's still quite a few hogs left up. Looks like uh, hitting a few spring traps. That definitely doesn't help. Uh, but the hogs right there get in there, take out the Tesla. The king doing a little bit of work on them. And I guess just things kind of thinned out. That one giant bomb got a glancing blow on them. And uh, a little bit unlucky maybe, but couldn't quite get the job done. Not enough juice. Those skellies, uh, just the hogs kind of split up in a bad manner on the uh, end of the attack. So it's hard when there's those giant bombs on the outside because sometimes you drop a group of hogs and they are right on top of that giant bomb. So it happens. A good attack to noob. Good try. And a nice attack to buddy getting the three star. So anyway, uh, looks like they're doing their attacks as well. But um, I should be back with one more attack. And uh, stay tuned. Be right back. Okay, we got Red Rum going in. Another Town Hall 10. Uh, all right, cool. Cool. Uh, wasn't expecting this because, as you guys might have seen or noticed, I like recording all attacks for this video kind of in one period of time. Makes it a little bit quicker, a little bit easier for me. But uh, we have actually gotten Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, and Town Hall 8 attacks all in one video, uh, which is really cool. So anyway... Interesting army comp has some bowlers, some valks, some balloons. Not the best base, but uh, still could easily mess up if things go wrong. Uh, has that has both inferno towers actually, uh, both on single target. So anyway, uh, the king goes down, some bowlers behind him, uh, the queen in the middle, and then valks on the left side. So kind of a three pronged attack here. Uh, a lot of valks are going to the outside. A few are going in. Actually, more than a few. He had quite a few valks. So uh, they're going to get through that first Inferno very quickly and get onto that second one. Uh, oh, ho, look at the, oh my goodness, those balloons. Uh, bad place to drop those balloons for whatever reason. That guy put all his air traps right in that area, and it was just ripped for those balloons. Like, they were, they were dead right away. I, mean, I don't know why we're, uh, why we're lagging or whatever, but buffering for a little, for a second or two. But anyway, uh, this base looks like it's toast either way. Uh, some more balloons for the top part. Should at least get some damage on that cannon. And then a big group of balloons moving their way through. Not to mention the Valks, the heroes, uh, wizards, the healers on the heroes. Uh, crushed this base. Not the best, but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little balloon parade that went down, uh, if nothing else. So anyway, uh, not the best attacks, I know, to be honest. But uh, this is kind of what I'm working with because we have the replays wiped out of uh, from the last war for the most part. So anyway, um, like I said, I'll try to record myself attacking if I, if I get a good base. If I don't, I won't waste your guys' time, and uh, maybe we'll, we'll get like a base destruction video or something. So anyway, thanks for watching this one, though, if you've watched this far through. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Sectatron out.